Welcome back to another episode, and today we are going to go over the contents of the crankbait box that I just put together. Oh man. Okay, I actually put this box together last night, and the reason why is because this weekend I'm going to be fishing with not one, but two fishing people, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, one is a YouTube channel, who a lot of you probably already know, but anyway, let's not jinx it. And the other is an Instagram page. And as you all know, there's a lot of things in the fall you can use to catch fish, but crankbaits, square bill crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, jerkbaits, deep diving jerkbaits can be a staple in the fall time. So that is why I am telling you guys about the contents of the box today. Now this is in no particular order at all, but we are going to start with the Mega Bass Vision 110 and the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus one. These baits originated in Japan and then they made their way to the United States. These were once, I believe these were once known as like a secret to the pros, but then it really took off and these baits caught on to a multitude of other anglers. The Mega Bass Vision 110 is going to dive three to six feet. It is going to have the tungsten multi-way moving balancer system and it is available in a wide range of colors. If you ask me about the Vision 110 and the 110 Plus one, I believe that these baits excel the best when the water is about, oh, I don't know, 38 to 70 degrees, okay? Now, when it comes to jerk baits, I, the majority of the time, I'm either gonna be using a Mega Bass Vision 110 or a Lucky Craft Pointer. Those are two of the best jerk baits, in my opinion. Now, these baits will work year round, okay? But I believe that the best time is November to April. And any time in the colder months when I'm gonna fish points, flats, banks, bluffs, or anything like that, I actually have learned to rely on these jerk baits. Uh, yes, they're very expensive, but do I believe they are worth it? Yes, I do. What do we have next? Now, I'm not gonna go too much into it, but the Norman N-Series crankbaits, I've actually grown to like those a lot, and I've found that this color right here works really well for smallmouth and largemouth bass, and yes, I've even caught pike on these, but that's not a surprise when you're when you're in the north or the midwest like I am. <laughs> I had to throw in the Rapala CRR10 and the CRR14, the Rapala Crank and Wrap. And yes, these crankbaits are discontinued now. The way they're designed is they are going to dive to the desired depth quickly, okay? They have a loud rattle, of course, the holographic foil insert. They have the 3D eyes. They have the external scale pattern, which is pretty lifelike. And then they have the VMC black nickel hooks. Okay, and I'm not sure why these crankbaits were discontinued. I'm pretty sure they're still available and under a different name, but I've always been a fan of these crankbaits and I think they work really well. And right here you have the hot mustard color and then also pretty sure you have the natural shad color. Nine to 10 feet, 13 to 14 feet. I love to throw these for smallmouth bass and largemouth bass. Now we're gonna go on to a bait that everybody knows and just about everybody that fishes crankbaits likes, okay? And that is, if I can get this untangled, that is the Strike King Red Eye Shad, okay? And this in particular is a two and five eighths length. It is a half ounce in size. And let me tell you what, the Strike King Red Eye Shad lipless crankbaits are just fish catching machines. It's got it. Oh, that's a pig. Oh, yeah, get the net. Mm. Oh, man, I need the pliers. When I was on Chartreuse lipless crankbait in clear water. My line out. All of a sudden, it just went zoom, but I said it. And Look I at that. The warm out of in a wide array of colors. Now, with the red eye shad, I have a few different ways that I like to fish these. Uh, usually I will start out and I will just cast the bait out and retrieve it back and if that doesn't work I will kind of do a yo-yoing action. I'll cast it out there, let it sink, rip it, let it sink, rip it. Or I'll even let it sink to the bottom, 
and just burn it all the way back up. I've, I've found that these baits just flat out catch fish. They work great. And for the price, you, I, I can't complain about these for the price. If you look, I put in, when I did this, I put in a, a crawfish color. I put in an orange craw, a chartreuse craw, a natural shad color, a bluegill color, and what a mess, my all-time favorite color, which is the one that I just showed you, that is the blue and chrome color. I've had the most success with this. I've had, I, I don't ask me why, but I've caught more fish on this than anything else. But now that we are on the topic of lipless crankbaits, and this is a giant mess, we cannot forget the Mega Bass Vibration X Ultra. Uh, this is the bluegill color. It's a half ounce size. Of course, it's rattling. They also have it in silent. But I've actually, I've never used this crankbait, this lipless crankbait. I'm going to try and use it this weekend. And if you look at it, it looks really lifelike. On the head of the bait, it says Vibration X Ultra Mega Bass 192G, I believe. But anyway, I'm going to be using these. And another thing before I forget. On the Mega Bass baits, if you see something that says ITO, that is referring to Yuki Ito, who was one of the inventors of some of the Mega Bass baits. But anyway. Let's jump around a little bit here. Now you have you have the Rapala DT6. You have the silver color, you have perch. Pretty sure that's the uh Pretty sure that's either the chartreuse or the hot mustard. Anyway, then you have the Helsinki Shad, and you have the uh, the black and blue craw, which I'm pretty sure is called the Blue Demon. You're gonna notice that these crankbaits are uh, really light. Pretty sure it's a quarter ounce or a three eighths ounce. Rapala claims they have wooden crankbaits. Well, you're gonna find this interesting because I've had a crankbait break on me, like while I was fishing, and it literally split in half. And let me give you an up close view at what it looks like when one of these breaks open. And if you look, you will see that the Rapala DT6 and other Rapala lures actually are wood. Just wanted to show that to you guys. thought that was pretty cool. Here you have an off-brand crankbait that I don't even remember the name of. Okay. Now, back to the Mega Bass. You have the Mega Bass S-Crank 1.5. These crankbaits are a half ounce in weight. And you will notice the shape of these is different than a lot of other square bell crankbaits. Almost a similar hunting action to the KVD 1.5 and 2.5 that I'm gonna talk about in a minute, but it's not the same. And what I mean by that is in the water, instead of just doing that hunting, like it'll hunt and when you stop, it'll like, it's very, it's it's a very unique square bell crankbait. Let's get off the topic of Mega Bass. Last but not least, definitely not least, you have the KVD 1.5 square bill crankbait and the 2.5 square bill crankbait. You have the Chartreuse Sexy Shad. The, the 1.5 square bill crankbait is a 3 8 ounce in weight. These baits work really good. And like I just said a minute ago, they have that, that hunting action, that, that wide erratic movement. But you'll notice that the hooks on these baits are not the best. That's why I usually like to change them out. Once in a while, I will keep the stock hooks, but most of the time I change them out just to save myself a little bit of hassle. And you'll notice that the hooks on this will also rust but that is not anything against the bait, okay? Because these Strike King KVDs are, they're, they're actually very good. When the 1.5 is not working, I will upsize to the 2.5. And the 2.5 is a 5 eighths in weight. And this is the sexy shad color. When I can't get bit on the 1.5 or other people are throwing the 1.5, if you use the 2.5, yeah, there's a chance you're gonna catch fish. It's gonna help you and it's gonna work. The KVD score bills are a good price for a great bait if you want my honest opinion. Do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What is your guys' favorite jerk bait, favorite square bill, favorite deep diving, crank bait, medium diving, whatever. Let me know in the comments. You guys know I'll respond to you. And another thing is I really have to try to get all the fishing videos I can uh, through the rest of October and November because as many of you know, I do not travel to fish and I work full time. So what that means is in the winter, 
I'm going to be doing a lot of ice fishing videos, more tackle talk, unboxings, and other things. And also in the winter, my uploads will probably slow down to one upload a week or a few a month, simply for the fact that I don't travel and I won't have the time and the correct weather to upload as much as I want to. But I hope you guys can understand that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time. Thank you.